The Goody Indian gum set was issued over a period of years starting in 1933 up to 1940. There are 216 cards in the complete set, and they were issued in several different skipped numbered series. The fronts feature beautiful color drawings of famous Indians, western heroes, historic events, Indian adventures, and daily Indian life activities, along with a title and these words, Indian Chewing Gum along the bottom. The backs have a card numbered along with descriptions and a line indicating the series. These cards can be found with a series of 24, 48, 96, 192, 216, 264, 288, and 312. There are many different variations in the set depending on the series and color variations. Some of the famous included in the set are Geronimo, Pontiac, Pocahontas, Sitting Bull, Tecumseh, Daniel Boone, Davy Crockett, General Custer, Buffalo Bill, Kit Carson, and so many others. The cards measure 2 and 3 8 inches by 2 and 7 8 inches in size. The Indian gum cards numbered 110 to 152 weren't initially released. Goody later released these cards and reused the artwork from cards 1 through 24. As a result, the Indian gum set has 216 differently numbered cards, but only 192 different pictures. The 1933 Goody Indian gum variations that state, series of 288 cards are the toughest to find. I recently found out about these cards, and wouldn't you know it, sitting at number 73 on the list was my favorite frontiersman, Louis Wetzel. So I took to eBay to find this card, and there were two available at the time. A buy now for $40 and an auction bid that I put $10 in just for fun. The color seemed different and I was willing to take a chance that this was a different colored series or else I just have two cool Lewis Wetzel cards for 50 bucks. What the hey. So anyways, a few days later, the package had arrived and I was ready to check out the 1933 Lewis Wetzel trading card. I grabbed my eBay envelopes and I headed down to the farm where it all began. The legend of Deathwind and my grandfather, the storyteller of the Grimms. <laughs> the excitement radiated off of his face as I handed him this baseball card that he didn't even know existed. Indian baseball cards, he thought to himself as he stared down at the card, enamored at something so old in his house. Something older than him. You don't hear a whole lot about him. Mm -hmm. See, he was the original Coonskin Frontiersman. It wasn't Daniel Murray. Here's Spider. He took on to that there best Indian warrior that they had. And he threw him into the pit fire and burned him up. Oh, really? The end of the fire pit. <laughs> exactly. It tells a story about how they, they were just kids and they was at that fork. Mm hmm And they climbed through, and the Indians come through, and the first one stuck his head up, they hit him in the head with a hammer, drug him on in, and the second one come down and see what the other one went to, and they hit him in the head with a hammer. Oh, really? <laughs> they got three of them, I think it was, the fourth one ran off. When he would whistle, the Indians shake with fear. So maybe someone thought that. Death wish. Hi, and welcome to Lewis Wetzel's Story Time. When I was younger, my grandfather used to tell me stories about how I was related to Lewis Wetzel through Christina Wetzel and Peter Grimm. My great, 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 great grandfather from the French and Indian War. So to test this theory, I went into the genealogy books. I looked and I looked and I couldn't find an answer, but I did find the story of Lewis Wetzel, one of the greatest frontiersmen to have ever lived. As I dug deeper, I found the lore grew more and more 
And uh, as a male growing up in the 90s, I loved my baseball cards. And when I found that they had a Lewis Wetzel Indian gum baseball card, I had to share my joy with my grandpa. So I took one down for him and bought one for myself. So I'm gonna go ahead and open my Lewis Wetzel 1933 baseball card. As a fan of the number 33, this is very exciting. It smells like a mailbag. I don't really remember who I got this off of. Uh, a gentleman from New Jersey, it looks like his name is Kevin. So let's check out the 1933 Lewis Wetzel baseball card that I ordered off of eBay. I got two of these for $50. Um, they aren't in any type of condition rated. Um, uh, whenever I was looking for these on the internet, uh, they had maybe like six of them available. Uh, I found these two uh, below $100. <clears throat> the rest of them were, uh, I think the next one up was 160 on eBay, and then there was some bid uh, auction ones that were running up around 300 uh, for a mint condition A5 or something. Uh, so these are, I'm going to go on a limb here and say this is a more rare card inside of this set. Um, a nice little thank you card, thank you so much. Yes, you're welcome. Uh, thank you. Immediately, I noticed that this card is uh, definitely small, smaller than a regular baseball card. It looks like uh, aged. Look at the Indian in the background. He's, he's stalking Lewis. He thinks he's got him. I don't think so, buddy. So, um, take a take this tape off here and take a good look at it and check it out and see what's going on. So I love the powder horn flapping off his arm as he's running because Lewis was an excellent rifleman in a long run, loading his gun and firing it through the woods. He looks like he's already got one down with the tomahawk and he's looking back. He's fully aware of that gentleman in the background. Don't you worry, sir. But no, this is a cool this is a cool card on the back. It tells a little a little story here. Let's check it out. Brave and honest pioneer of West Virginia, he was an expert rifle shot at the age of 18. Once, he Once when pursued by four vengeance-seeking Indians, he ran fast as he could. Suddenly, he wheeled and shot one Indian dead, reloading his gun as he ran. He turned again, and another redskin toppled over. Without a stop, he continued on. Turning quickly, he dispatched a third Indian, and the other Indian, seeing the fate of his companions, turned and ran back to his camp to tell the story of the man whose gun was always loaded. This is the one of the series of 192 cards, more cards illustrating romantic America to follow. Indian gum, the world's greatest penny value. Goody gum, Goody gum Company, Boston. Number 74, Lewis Wetzel. Again, I, I think I said it was 73, but uh, number 74 on the list, it's a, it's a beautiful card. A beautiful old card. I'm going to put this in my treasure chest and uh, Lewis Wetzel memorabilia. And uh, always remember the greatest single combat fighter to have ever lived. Well, thank you so much for checking this out. Um, I just wanted to put this on. I thought this was a really cool find on online and I wanted to add it to my collection. There's some proof here showing you how small this actually is. I think it was two, two and three eighths to like two and seven eighths. But um, it's a tiny card, really cool, cool deal. There's all kinds of different ones, man. Go ahead and check them out. I do think I am going to go and uh, go get a Shawnee Tribe card, though. Maybe some Wyandotte Tribe and uh, start a nice little collection and see what I can come, come up with. And if you enjoy these videos, please share, like, and subscribe for more videos about Lewis Wetzel and the American Frontier.